Welcome back to HEV Math. So in this video, we need to learn one more thing concerning numbers. This is called ordinal, pos ordinal position. And what that means is we need to know how to put things in order or think of yourself waiting in line. So let's see if we draw a few kids here. So one happy kid, two happy kids, and three happy kids and four happy kids. And they're all waiting in line for the ice cream truck. Yeah, there we go. That's an awesome ice cream truck. Uh, that's not broccoli, that's an ice cream. And there's the, they're all running fast as they can to get over to the ice cream truck. Let's make them running. Now it looks like they're on stilts. Running as fast as they can to get to the ice cream truck, not the broccoli truck. Nobody would go to a broccoli truck. And they're running there. Now the ice cream man's going to have to keep track of who got there, who was number one in line. But he doesn't say who's number one or who's, who's the one person. We have a word for knowing what order somebody got there to the ice cream truck. We'd say the person that got there in the number one position, we don't say the number one position, we say who got here first. First means that they were number one. So we write the number first. Well, we, the way we say that is we say first. And we write that out as a word, and that means that they're number one. So if they were, put this right here, if they were number one, we say that they were first. Now the next person to get to the ice cream truck, we don't call them number two, we say that they were, I'm guessing you already know the word, who got there second. So the number two person is going to be second, like that. Let's put an arrow down there for second. Now the number three person, he has a special name as well. We don't say, who got here number three? You, you probably know that. We don't say, who got here number three? We say something like, who got here third? So the number three person, he's going to be third. And you can kind of see the number three in there. It's got the TH. Um, second's a little bit harder to recognize, but and first, that, um, it may not make that much sense to you. But that's, those are the names that we have for it. So the person who got there in the number three position, or the number three person, he is third. And finally, this person right here, the number four person got there fourth. I'm going to draw a line all the way down to there. Okay, so that's what we do. So we, we, we need to know these words because we live in a society that uses words like this. And we don't just say, this is, this is the number one person and this is the number two person. We say, who got here first? Who got here second? Who is the third person? who came in fourth place. We say things like that. So we need to know how to order things or put things in order with their proper name. So let's go through each of the names. And we're only going to go up to 10 because after 10 it gets pretty easy. I'm going to erase all my little ice cream guys here. I'll leave the broccoli truck. Oh, wait, I mean the ice cream truck. Nobody would go to a broccoli truck. Or maybe they would. I know, I know a few people that would like a broccoli truck. If they had cheese on it, I might go to a broccoli truck. So here we go. Let me... So the number one, the one that's in the first position, is first. And these are all words that I want you to practice writing associated with it. Two is second. Three is 
4 is fourth, 5 is fifth, 6 is sixth, 7 is seventh, 8 is eighth, 9 is ninth, and 10 is tenth. So you'll notice a little pattern once we started getting past four. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. All right, so that's all we're doing with this one. This is more work that you need to do by yourself. And so print off that worksheet and just, you should be able to do it. It's a pretty easy thing to do. If you need some help, Maybe come back and check the video, see if there's something that you missed, or go ask somebody around you that can help you with this. It's not too much trouble to do, but just it's, these are good words to learn. And I'll see you next time.